Hello, I'm gonna show you what I've been working on. Um, as you can see, the code here is not C sharp. I've been learning C++, and uh, honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with it. The performance is uh, higher than uh, C sharp, and uh, I actually like managing memory, pointers, references, and uh, such. So I've been working on a clone of uh, the iOS game Super Hexagon. This is what I made so far. So the game uh, is uh, made by Terry Canavag, which you may uh, know for uh, six time letter V, V V V V V V V, the platformer where you change gravity, which was uh, a very good um, seller on Steam. Uh, Super Hexagon is uh, a new game that he made. It is on iOS, that means uh, iPhone or iPad. And as you can see, uh, you can rotate around uh, the center. You are the little triangle, and your job is to uh, avoid all the walls that uh, close in on the center. So the the code is not really optimized, and this is the debug version and I'm getting about uh, 300 FPS on the debug version and um, as you can see in the top left corner we have uh, some parameters that can be changed on runtime for example we can uh, increase the size of the polygons so we can have uh, octagons or uh, triangles so any kind of uh, polygon and obviously the more the sides, the more difficult it will be to um, pass through the polygon without touching any wall. Also we can increase the thickness of the polygons, so they will be harder to dodge, or decrease the thickness and make them very, very thin. Also we can increase the speed, obviously which makes the whole game a lot harder. Let's decrease the sides. So it's fun to mess around with these parameters, but uh, the real fun will come when uh, a level system is implemented and uh, the levels are randomly generated on the floor. Another effect I added is the rotation of the background, which is present on uh, the original game. It basically rotates your view while you play, and it's a very cool effect. It has no no real effect on gameplay, but uh, it makes uh, the game more disorienting and more ha and more hard. So, uh, coupled with uh, some 3D effects, it makes the game really fun on the iOS. And I'm trying to replicate the same experience on the computer. Um, that's it for this week. I'm very happy to to have studied C++. A month ago I wasn't even able to distinguish a pointer from a reference, but now I'm pretty confident I can uh, finish a, a game and uh, Super Hexagon, uh, the Super Hexagon clone will be released soon, open source on my GitHub page. Thank you for watching.